So we're here for the Mother Sundance. We want it to be romantic, sexual, sensual, everything. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> but I think he was joking, but I think he might not have been joking too, so. I like grind on me. Oh my God. All right. I like that shirt. Thank you. It's perfect for Valentine's Day, huh? True. For Valentine's Day this year, Mom said she would go and help me get Cam a gift. This looks beautiful. I want to put a little more spark back into mine and Kim's relationship. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, that's certainly spicy. Yeah? There is some intimacy that has fallen short because, you know, we do live with my mom. And she thinks that my mom sometimes is around a little bit too much. I'm wow. Eve, what's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, this Matt, is my nice son, Matthew. Hi, Matt, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. So what brings you in? Well, my son wants to get something beautiful for his girlfriend with a little bit of razzle-dazzle for Valentine's Day. I was hoping that you could help us. I've been in business for 13 years. I do not have a lot of mothers and sons shopping for lingerie at my store. Come on in. Let's okay, talk. OK, great. Yeah, Thank you so talk. much. Yeah. That's really weird to me. But hey, mm, I don't know. This is stunning. What do you think, Mom? I like it. Wow. Hold on, I got to show it to you. OK. You want to no. hold her for yeah. me? All right, let's go here. You got it? If I ask my mom her opinion, I'm going to get a for sure guarantee of a good response. If you had to pick, which one would you go with? I do like the cheetah. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? I like, I. Which one do you like? I think this one might be better. I think it's going to make Kim feel sexier. Sexier. And it's different. That's true. Which is good. OK. So, and I think she'll like that more. It's spicy, elegant, so I don't think we'll have any problems. We have. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is nice. She would love that. I would love that. I'm kind of her size. Yeah. I could see me wearing that, too. Yeah, I can, too. Um, I think let's do this. Let's get two of them, one for her, and then we'll get uh, Kim this as well. So I'll wrap it up for okay. you. I don't know about the mom and the girlfriend wearing the same robe. I mean, I'm not a therapist or a psychologist, but that's going to be an issue, I think. It's so good to be here, finally. Yes, finally. It's, it's beautiful here. Get your little drink right now. I'm Yay. Excited. That's your one drink minimum. Maximum? <laughs> well, I mean, we're on vacation, so it is kind of like a minimum. I can have more oh. since I'm on vacation. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. So, babe, well, what do you got planned for us? I'm excited. I, I think now you can tell me. I'm not going to tell you none of the surprises, but. Maybe some spa. Yeah, I love saunas and hot tubs and jacuzzis. Oh, my god. I'm overdue. It's been a very long time. A nice massage and the All right. So you everything. can go down there. Just don't run up the bill too much, please. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm really glad Jane's excited, but Brian better remember why she's here. So, babe, what's the ground rules you have for us? Baby duty, you're my duty. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense? You good, everybody? I'm good. I think Trace is a little worried that my mom's going to treat this honeymoon kind of as a family vacation. But my mom is always watching the kids. So if she gets a little time for herself, so be it. Have fun, have a drink or two. And I just think we have the right to a honeymoon by ourselves. To the honeymoon. To the honeymoon.
what the f <laughs> like where did she come from it's relaxing right yeah more my drink here <laughs> where are my boys at i found out that the hotel penthouse had a babysitting service and they're in good hands is Jane serious right now? Because this is like really raggedy what she's doing, just showing up here and getting some random babysitter with the kids. But you needed some extra Jane time is what you're saying. Exactly. If I wanted to use a hotel babysitter, then I just wouldn't have brought Jane to begin with. All right, well, why don't I just go check on them and you can hang out with your mom for a little bit. But she's supposed to check on them. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, this is nice. Yeah, really nice, Mom. Really nice. Yeah, you won't get wow. dirty, little boo. <laughs> wow. Eat your little soup, your ABC soup. Alphabet yeah. soup. Look, mm, he did not stop wearing bibs because he drools a lot. Yes, baby, I had to. I had to. Mom, you need um, to And I guess because of that reason, you will always want to be, you know, mom, mom, mom. Why are you messing up your pretty face? Everybody will tell me that's your little shadow. He will come running to me for me to put his shoes, even though he could do it himself. She always has to cut up my pancakes. I don't want my baby to choke. They tell me, cut the umbilical cord, which I don't know what that means. But. Apparently. Robert, you're really gonna eat that? You know how much carbs that has in it? Girl. Hold on, can we talk about this after I eat? Yes, please. Wow. Please, this is... eat. Look at him. You're really gonna Don't eat that? Don't you see him okay. while he's eating? I'm not cooking for like, you Like, if no you more. haven't ate in, like, years. So I'm doing everything for nothing, basically. Honey. No. She doesn't understand the weight cut. It's just food. When you're cutting weight, you're crying to me, you're not crying to your mom. So now I'm not gonna meal prep for you and your mom's gonna meal prep for you because she has it all taken care of. I do feel like I'm in a tug of war and I'm getting pulled from side to side to side. She, I'm afraid to stand up to her. Oh my God. Good morning. Morning, mom. What is that? It's guaranteed to take 10 years off. Here. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. What is that? That's his uh, protein shake. Secret ingredients. All right, I'm gonna take this off. The unveiling. <laughs> How do I look? It's gonna look younger than me in no time. Yes, Matt comes from uh, those jeans also. Look how buff he is. I know, yeah. You do look great. Matt. Hans. Rom. We're here Are to pump, pump you up. up. What is that? You don't know what that is? I know what it is. I didn't know this was Saturday a thing. Night Live, right? A thing that you guys did. That's a little thing that Matt and I do. The pandemic has been great for Matt's body, and I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Let me show me the guns. Love it. <laughs> I wrote a poem, and I want you guys to hear it. All right, here we go. Her curved shaped petals open to a new dawn's day. Open wide, consume thy sun. She thrives with her kin. Calling all fans, hint of mint, my sense is teased. Is this a poem about sex? No. A vagina? It's about a flower. There was no sexual intent behind that poem at all. No. So, Mom. Yes. OK, I know you've talked about like reading a poem at the wedding. This wasn't the one, was it? You're reading a poem at our wedding? Some more of that stuff. When what? is that? That's like a thing? Why not? I'm going to do something. I think officiate. Kelly. Oh, get ready, Kim. I feel like my involvement in the wedding will be refereeing these two, um, showing up, saying I do. But my mom is a force to be reckoned with. You want to officiate the wedding? 
and read poetry. I love it. Matt and I are getting married, we're building a house together, but for some reason, Kelly feels that it's up to her to make the big decisions. It's not cool at this point. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Wow. It was a nice morning. Yeah, it was nice. This is gonna be the video right here now. Don't be playing around. Okay, let me get let me get hype. Get hype. For fun. Me and my mom make videos. She's a hoot. Yeah. Turn on now. Give me two of them. Give me two of them. Whoa, whoa. Just started filming me and he is just really special. Me and him, and I love it. Hey, yo, mama, say oh, something. Yeah. Man, I ain't never seen this side of my mama. That take me about an hour to teach her a dance, but most of my videos are just her being naturally funny, being herself. <laughs> I feel like that draws us closer, and times like that, I value the most, really, like big time. <laughs> My name is Abby, and I'm 26 years old. Hey, Abby, what you doing? Hey, Abby. How long have y'all been doing this? Whoa. I know she did. She ain't got a ring yet. Told me it was just going to be me and you. Well, my typical morning come up at Trey's house. And I just do things a mother does, you know. Trey. Lorinda spools Trey. You'll find her every day up here cooking pancakes at 5 a.m. Trey works at a warehouse, so he has to be up very early in the morning. But I work at a local boutique here in Boonville, so I don't have to be at work until 10. A little saucy. Yeah, here you go. Look, come down now. Maybe in camp back there sleeping. Hey, it's time for me to get up anyway. Mama, she need to be in here cooking this for you anyway. Lorena, do you think Abby's good enough for Trey? Well, uh, Trey, it's still, it just, it's just something missing. You got, you got to admit, and that's the truth. Oh. I really do like taking care of Trey. I come up here and I clean. I wash and iron his clothes to nobody. But um, I run his errands. I pay his bills for him, mow his yard for him. She doesn't live here. Why is she so worried about everything being done? Like, she's crazy. Are you excited for our dance lesson? Yeah, I've never taken a dance lesson, so. Well, there's a first for everything. Okay. Hi. Hello. I love Ethan so much. He's my little cookie monster. And the wedding means everything to me. So we're here for the Mother Son Dance. We want it to be romantic, sexual, sensual, everything. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> but I think he was joking, but I think he might not have been joking too, so who knows? <laughs> Spin back that way. Oh, you can bring it on in. There you go. Yeah, baby. Get that hip over here. The mother and son dance is very important. This is something that every mother of a son dreams about from the day their baby's born. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Ethan wants to dance to sexual healing. I said, make it memorable. Grab your mother. I'll grab my mother. Grab her tight. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Get over here, baby. Oh, my. My name's Lena Rosen. I'm 26, and I'm from Long Island, New York. Now dance on me. Like, grind on me. Oh, my god. All right. When I first met Ethan, I did know that he was really close with his mom. I found that out pretty quickly. I like the thing when she just walks on me. Be like a baller. Got this hot milf on my back. Yo, what up? This is my mom. The flirting really does bother me. And I do think it's weird uh, that I do get jealous of Esther and Ethan's relationship, um, just because I don't think anyone has ever really had to feel that way about their significant other and their mom. Mmm, it's got my juices flowing. 
it's hard to ignore because it looks like they're more together than we are, but something I've gotten used to. And spanky spanky. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get a little jealous because like Esther will come out in a bathing suit and he'll be like, oh, you look so sexy. And I'm like, where did I, where, I didn't get a sexy or anything like that. She understands it at the end of the day and knows that it's all fun and games. This is Lena, she's also on the wedding. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got the most practice in. I definitely felt a little jealous watching you dance. Oh, like, he's my baby. Lena gets jealous, but that doesn't mean he has to stop giving me that affection and attention. But we know we still need to find our song. We, we said we we're gonna figure it out together. I am about to meet Matt's main woman in his life. He has given me a little disclosure about how intense she can be, and I'm very nervous to meet her. Kelly is the end-all be-all in Matt's decision-making, and this is a make it or break it. Hey. Hi. 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 Mom, Brittany, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Mom. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I gotta, I'll get you a drink. I'll get you something. I wouldn't say Kelly was mean. I wouldn't say she was nice. It was very uncomfortable. She is very pretty. Seems to be nice, but Brittany is gonna have to earn her way into our family. I'm not sure exactly what my mom's approach is to today, so I really have no idea what's coming. How's everything going? <clears throat> That's good. 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 Cute shirt. Thank you. I like, I like your shoes. boots. Thank you. I'm a, a shoe person myself. You know, I wear them till they break. I don't. I have, um, a little surprise for you, Brittany. Okay. I had no idea. All right, let me get him. It's just kind of how she is. She's just this way right now. I didn't think my mom was going to be like this. I thought she was going to be a lot more fun. She's a biker. I shouldn't be shocked, I guess, but I'm a little disappointed with how things are going right now. I thought this would be cute. Put this on for our little party? Mom. I'm just kind of poking fun. Come on. Stand up. <laughs> we throw a lot of parties with family and friends, and I wanted to see how she rolls with the punches. Where's yours? Where's Matt's? No, only you get one. Or if she's going to roll her eyes and have a tizzy. Isn't that cute? That's good. All right. <laughs> I have some questions that I'd like to ask you. Who gives a meet and greet like this? Let's start out with a few fun ones. What's your sign? Gemini. Gemini. So, do you value a man's relationship with his mother? Yeah. And how close is too close? Matt and I are very close, and I want you to be honest. Well, I mean, I can see his house from your backyard, which I don't think is that big of a deal, but as long as we get some personal space and alone time, I think it's okay. I've never had such an intense meeting with a boyfriend's parents. So if you found someone that you wanted to marry and that person asked if you would sign a prenup. Mom. What? Did you sign a prenup? 